testing, testing, one, two, three, testing. All right. Finally, we make it to Super Combo Finisher Pack number three. This is what they were referring to as the, the Monster Pack. Yeah, so anyways, let's get things started with Aganos. So basically with Aganos we got m even more recycled animations. So he, he traps the opponent between all these boulders and the opponent's just standing there looking like a retard going, Oh well what the fuck am I doing? I'm being trapped by boulders. And then Aganos just uses one of them like a, as a ramp, lands on the opponent and for some fucking reason there's no blood. There's no aftermath, no nothing. I mean, are we just supposed to believe that the that the opponent just vanished into thin air? I mean, what the fuck, man? There's there's nothing. You know, there's there's no aftermath. There's no blood. It's just Agano showing up on screen, posing, and then that's the end of the of, of the finisher. There, <laughs> one out of ten. So now let's move on to one of the other new characters in, in Killer Instinct. Let's move on to Mira. Roll the footage. So again, reused animations. Uh, and then Mira, you know, she does this this little dance. She grabs the opponents, and then she bites them. But when she goes for the bite, for for whatever fucking reason, they censor the bite, <laughs> even though that, that shit already happens during gameplay. You know, like why the fuck do you have to censor something that that we've already seen so many times uh, when the characters are actually fighting? So again, with the reused animations and the censorship, man, they're they're just fucking running out of ideas at this point. I mean, they already were, but now it's really, it's so bad that they have to keep using the same shit over and over again. Zero out of ten. So next in line, we got Saber Wolf. On we go. So Saber Wolf uh, surrounds the opponent, runs around the opponent and slashes them, you know, uh, Shadow Jago style. And then he, he pounces at the screen. <laughs> and then that's it. <laughs> that's the end of the so-called ultimate. And then after the, fl the, the flash or whatever that is that shines into the screen, you know, the only thing that we see is a, a close-up of Saber Wolf's face. <laughs> man, this what what is this shit, man? It's just pure cringe. This is a pure cringe fest of with all these so-called ultimates. What they really are is super combo finishers because there's really <laughs> they have almost nothing to do whatsoever with the ultimates of the original Killer Instinct. They look like like straight up, man. They just look like fucking super combo finishers because there's nothing ultimate about them. Saber Wolf's ultimate zero out of ten. So now moving on to the next uh, character, uh, the Eternal Child Hisako. Roll the footage. So she sneaks up behind the opponent and then she possesses them. <laughs> Recycled animation once again. And then she she breaks her the, the opponent's bones. And then <laughs> everyone wants to claim that that's brand new and that they're actually showing something. But we, we've already seen that during gameplay, during shadow moves, and even in combos, you know, in the uh, combo enders. And all the marks were trying to say, oh, well, this is an antidote to all those people who were saying they're not showing anything. Fuck. <laughs> this, yeah, they're showing something, but they're showing something that already happens throughout, throughout the gameplay. <laughs> this isn't anything new, it's just a reused animation. And then at the end, she does this little uh, jump scare, this lame-ass jump scare at the end where she's like, Hey, guys. Hey, I, 
I did the ultimate there. I did the ultimate. And then the marks were probably like, oh my gosh, he oh, like almost gave me a heart attack. Oh my god, this uh, Hisaku just crippled the opponent. She broke all of, her bo all of their bones. <laughs> but the thing about it is that this already happens during fucking gameplay. How the fu Why is this an ultimate? Fact of the matter is that, is that this ain't an ultimate. This is just another super combo finisher. Hisako's so-called ultimate gets a 0 out of 10. And last but not least... We got Glacius. Roll the footage. This is the last one. So Glacius forms like these these gloves made out of ice. Starts punching the opponents, and then. More reused animations just sends the opponent across the screen and then up into the air and then he summons the same the same move that he does during his uh, his ultra combo he summons that thing and then the opponent just falls right on top of it and we already know that the ice breaks you know we can tell because of all the uh, the pieces of ice that shatter and then they fly over to the uh, to where Glacius is you know in other words they don't show anything there's no blood there's no aftermath nothing. And then it just cuts over to a close-up of, of Glacius, and then that's it. <laughs> How the fuck is that an ultimate? That's just another super combo finisher. So this so-called ultimate, you know, Glacius' ultimate gets a 1 out of 10. Now, on a side note, we're going to also review uh, the original ultimate that started all of these back in... Uh, by the end of 2013, I think it was. It was, uh, in other words... Uh, uh, Shadow Jago's ultimate, so let's take a look. Now, in my opinion, I think that this ultimate right here, Shadow Jago's ultimate, is the only one, or at least one of the only ultimates in this game that's kind of acceptable I guess, you know, kind of tolerable there. Uh, mainly because it's quick, it's got blood, it shows you everything that happens, there's, you know, it's violent, it, it has no gore whatsoever, just like the original Ultimates. Uh, so yeah, I think, it, all, in the, all in all, I think that Shadow, Shadow Jacob's Ultimate uh, gets... Man, I, I'm gonna have to go on the limp, but I'm gonna have to say that this Ultimate gets a 10 out of 10. Now, as far as the rest of these ultimates from the, the so-called monster pack, all of these ultimates fucking suck, man. The, the majority of them, reused animations, uh, censorship, uh, recycled. I mean, it's the same thing as uh, the, the majority of the other ultimates that I already reviewed. It's like, what the fuck is so monstrous about these ultimates? Nothing. The, the only thing is the, the cringe fest that they are. That's what's monstrous about them. This just continues to prove how Iron Galaxy, you know, they just suck major ass when it comes to making video games. And then you got the marks of Ultra-Combo.com who continue to kiss ass. Nobody kisses ass like you people. So yeah, go ahead and continue to support all of this cringy shit. You know, it's like Fall of Seraphs, uh, he misquoted me. You know, he said that, oh, well, Vlad wants Killer Instinct to die. No, that's actually not truth. I said... Killer Instinct is going to die because of marks like you, who keep marking out to all this stupid bullshit. So yeah, all you marks need to get a life. Iron Galaxy, you need to jump off a cliff. And Killer Instinct, well, Killer Instinct just needs a winning KI4, guys. I mean, come on. KI4, when the fuck is KI4? Hopefully KI4 gets a real ultimate instead of all this cringy bullshit. So this has been my review of all of these so-called ultimates, the super combo finishers. And I hope that you all enjoyed watching me knocking them out of the park and shooting them out of the sky. And until next time.